So we're excited patient today with joint hypermobility issues, and she has wrist pain and thumb pain. And the thumb pain is at the base of the thumb. Uh, this is an exam for basal joint instability. You can see the bone move almost a centimeter, and it also moves outwards a centimeter. And uh, this is uh, loose and painful. The uh, other thing that she has is wrist instability. And she has full motion wrist, and this is the scaphoid. And if I move her wrist into radial deviation and push on her scaphoid, you can see the wrist dislocate, and that is painful. Full motion, but mechanical instability. And this would have a normal x-ray, normal MRI, normal bone scan, normal arthrogram, normal arthroscopy, but abnormal motion under load. Let's uh, switch to the other side. So she has had surgery to correct these problems on her right side, and you can see there's not much of a scar. Part of the tendon is taken here and passed underneath the skin until this point and then passed underneath these muscles. And with the same exam, the uh, thumb doesn't really move this way, and in this plane it moves just a little bit, which is normal, but quite snug and when the joint is reduced and loaded, the uh, joint motion is smooth and painless. The wrist was stabilized through a small incision here. You can barely see her scar. In spite of the operation, she has basically full motion, but when you push on the scaphoid here, the wrist does not dislocate. It is uh, stable and solid. Now, she also had uh, hand pain and hand weakness secondary to proximal median nerve entrapment and that gives you weakness of these two muscles. And if we put our fingers like this, hold on as hard as you can, I can't budge this, these two are the same strength. And her thumb, pull your thumb down like this, I can't budge. And if we examine her other side, um, make a fist for me, you can see a little indentation in her arm, which is where the bicepital aponeurosis pushes the flexor pronator muscles in. If we put her hand, let's get your thumb out of there, put her hand in this position, these two should have the same strength. And her middle finger, I can't budge. Pull down as hard as you can. She has no strength on her index finger. And her thumb, pull your thumb down like this, pull it as hard as you can, the uh, no strength at all. Now this is a confusing weakness because people can adapt and uh, you have to understand that they adapt. And one of the adaptations is pulling the wrist up. And with her wrist up, now pull down, this finger is quite strong, and her thumb is quite strong. But people who do this all day long, who are loose jointed, get sore right here. You can say, oh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she had this operated on on this side and resolved the pain, and uh, she had lateral epicondylitis, which was treated at the same time. And she has the same problem on this side, where she's exquisitely tender right in this area. This is just so, I mean, sturdy and, and reliable. I mean, this one just, it depends on what I'm doing. So how much I better do you think you were after the surgery on this side? How much better? Yeah. Like, <laughs> in 80, 90% better? So for some things, probably 100% better? Yeah, oh yeah, 100% better with the thumb, with the thumb being able to hold things. And for some things, for everything that's not 100%, do you think it's between 80 and 90%? Yeah, yeah, things? easy, easy. And the, uh, and describe the symptoms you have on this side. On, on this side, weak, lots of weakness and, uh, and pain. It de I mean, like I said, depending on what I'm doing, you know, I'm, after I've listened to you explain it so many times, I've you know I've watched myself and I you know catch myself you know hold, holding every you know changing the way I hold things and and it's just um, you know. So let's do two more things. The uh, sit right there. Actually, maybe you can come right over my shoulder. Point your chair that way. The uh, why don't you look straight ahead. The uh, this is the rights maneuver. Why don't you look straight ahead. Tell me when your fingers start to go numb or tingling. Now. Yeah. Okay, and if we straighten your arm out and turn your head to your right, describe what you feel. It feels tired. It feels like, like it's how about, all tight and pulling. How about tingling in the hand? Oh yeah. And if I press here, more tingling in the hand? 
Oh yeah, it goes really fast. Okay, and if I press here, more tingling in the hand? Yes. Okay, now don't you lean forward, that's it, and stick your chin out, and relax your shoulder. The, uh, if you can look at this area here, relax your shoulder. If I do this, relax your shoulder, you can see what's called a sulcus sign. Tell me when your fingers go numb. Oh, there you go. And if I let go, the shoulder pops back into place. Relax your shoulder. I can push my thumb in here, and when I let go, the thumb gets pushed out. That's great. That was fun. So, the diagnosis of proximity nerve entrapment involves a number of physical exam findings. Number one, palpation in this area. When I press in this area, tell me when your fingers start going numb or tingling. Oh no. So that's about 12 seconds. The uh, should be a, should be one minute before there's any numbness or tingling. The second exam finding would be palpation in this area right here. Tell me when your fingers go numb or tingling. Now. That's about 15 seconds. That should be at least a minute before the hand goes numb. If we have her pronate against resistance, hold your hand like this with the fingers and wrist up like, like that. this. And to the side like that. Hold that just like that. Don't let me turn your arm. If I do this, tell me when your fingers go numb or tingling. Oh, you're starting to tingle now. So that's about 15 seconds. Oh, no tired. That's good. Mm, what else can we test for? The, uh, well, can we do one more thing? Okay. Squeeze as hard as you can. Good. Relax your hand. Now straighten your elbow out. Squeeze as hard as you can. It's about the same. Good. On this side, let's with your elbow bent. Squeeze as hard as you can. So she's about 60 pounds. And now do it with your elbow straight. About 40 pounds. So this would prove that she has lateral epicondylitis. And if you blocked her nerve at the elbow and her grip strength became 60, you know that she would do well for surgery. Hello, Mr. Foote. Hello. N nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Michael. I'm one of the neurology registrars here. I've been asked to examine the nerves that supply your face. Would that be okay? It's fine, thank you. Thank you. Have you noticed any change in your sense of smell? No. Fantastic. Can I ask you to take your left hand and cover up your left eye for me? Thank you. And can I ask you to read the lowest line that you had on this chart, please? H T Y O. Thank you very much. Now can you swap eyes and cover up the other eye for me? And thank you. Can you do the same thing again? H T Y O. That's great. Thank you very much. Now, again, using your left hand to cover up your left eye, I want you to look straight into my eye. Keep looking into my eye. And using your peripheral vision, I want you to tell me when you see a finger wiggling coming in. OK. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Can you swap eyes for me? Good. And if you look straight into my eye, keep looking into my eye. And again, using your peripheral vision, point at the finger that wiggles for me. Good. That's great. Thank you very much. I want you to look straight away, far off into the distance now. Yeah. Keep looking off into the distance and try and ignore my finger. And now look at the tip of my finger. Thank you very much and follow it in. Thank you. That's marvellous. I'm just going to shine a light in your eyes, if that's okay. Yeah. I want you to again try yeah. looking straight forward and try and ignore my light. Thank you. Ipsilateral and consensual. Ipsilateral and consensual. Good. And now looking for a relative afferent pupillary defect. That's great. Thank you. At this point, I would normally perform fundoscopy. Now, what I want you to do is look at the tip of my finger for me. Keep your head very still and just keep focusing on the tip of my finger. Follow it with your eyes and let me know if at any point you see double. Okay. It's all. It's 
Soho. Soho, Soho. 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 Good. And we'll just go straight across the centre again, OK? Soho. Soho. Good, thank you very much. That's marvellous. Thank you. Can you feel me touching both sides of your face? Yes, but I can feel a little bit more this side than that side. Okay. Is it a bit more on the right-hand side up here as yes, well? Yes, yes. As it is here? Yes. And a bit more on the right yes. side down here as well? Okay, yes. thank you. Can you clench your teeth together tightly for me? That's marvellous. And now relax your jaw open and let your mouth hang open a little floppy. That's it. Don't force it out, though, for me. That's it, lovely. Nice and relaxed. Thank you. Can I ask you to squeeze your eyes tightly shut and don't let me open them? Good. Squeeze your lips tightly shut and don't let me open them. Thank you. Puff out your cheeks for me. That's great. Thank you very much. Have you noticed any change in your hearing? No. Okay. Are you able to hear my watch on this side? No. Okay. Are you able to hear this on this side? Yes. And on this side? Yes. Good. I'm just going to pop this on the top of your head. Do you hear it about the same in both ears? Yes. Thank you very much. OK. Can I ask you to open your mouth for me? That's marvellous. And say, ah. Oh. Ah. Uh. Thank you. And can you stick out your tongue for me? That's great. Can you push your tongue into the side of your mouth for me on the inside? Push hard against my hand and again hard against this side. Thank you. Can you shrug up your shoulders? That's great. And now can you turn your head against my hand? And the same on the other side. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming for the examination. I understand you've had some difficulty with your walking, and uh, I'll just examine you now. Um, I might ask you to, to stand by the side of the bed if you're able. Good, great. Uh, we'll just actually remove the gown. Mm -hmm. Great, on the bed there, good. And one step forward for me. Great. Excellent. We'll just test how many of you are walking now. So perhaps if you walk towards your right, we walk to the wall, then pause, and then walk back towards me. Great. Pausing there for a moment. So we'll just test your balance now, Mr. O'Neill. So I'll ask you to put your feet together like so. Great. Good. And now with your eyes closed, standing nice and tall and straight. Now I'm here to support you. Very good. Great. And relax. We'll just stress that position by putting one foot in front of the other. Nice and straight there. Good. And again, eyes closed. Good. And relax. Excellent. Very good. And a few more steps. Good. Great. And relax. That's fine. And we'll turn back to face back here. Again, now just testing some of the strength. So you're able to stand up on your toes. Mm -hmm. Good. And relax. And then again, up on your heels with your toes in the air. Good. Great. And just relax there for me. I'll ask you to squat, so if you need my assistance, if you can squat down and up again. Great, good, relax. Uh, I'll just ask you to um, take a seat back on the bed. Um, I'll put that just, just on the bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, good. And again, just testing some of the uh, <coughs> strength in the leg. Uh, so first of all, we'll just test if you can just relax and let the full weight go out of the leg. Let them relax and go floppy and loose like a limp. Okay, very good. All floppy and loose, excellent. Excellent, very good. And again, all loose, let the weight go out of the legs completely. Nice and relaxed, good. Good, and again. And again, I'll just place a slight bend in the knee. Good, and it's just quite sharp here on the ankle. Very good. And again, a slight bend in the knee. Very good. Very good. And again, slightly sharp on the knee bone there. Very good. All right. And just some of the strength in the legs now. So I ask you with the right leg to lift the leg up straight off the bed and hold it there. Strong, nice and strong. Don't let me push it down. Strong, 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 strong. Good. And relax, and the left leg straight off the bed. Hold it there, strong, strong as you're able, strong, strong, strong. Good, relax, pop it down. 
and now keep the bed, keep the leg uh, firmly on the bed. Don't let me pull it up. Good, strong, good. And the left leg firmly on the bed. Don't let me pull it up. Excellent, very good. Just with the knees, keep the knees fixed. Don't let me push them in. Good. And again with the knees, keep them there fixed. Don't let me push them out. Great, good. We'll just bend up the right knee. Just bend it up with the foot on the bed. Uh, now keep the knee bent. Don't let me straighten it out. Good. And now kick out against me. Kick out hard. Good, good. And relax that down. Relax nice and straight. Nice and straight and flat. Good. Uh, we'll just bend the left knee up. Good, great. Keep that knee there bent. Don't let me straighten it out. Good. And now um, kick out against me. Kick out. Good. Relax that down. Nice and straight and flat. Good. Uh, just with the feet here, we'll just bend the feet in like so. Good. Now keep the feet there bent. Don't let me push them out. Strong, strong, strong. Excellent. And the other foot as well. Keep it bent. Don't let me push it out. Strong, strong, strong. Good. Great. Now we'll turn the feet out like so. Keep them there bent out. Don't let me push them in. Strong, strong, strong. Good. The other foot. Strong, strong, strong. Good. Great. Now just with the heels pushed down on me as if you're pushing the accelerator. Hard, hard, hard. Good. Great. With the ankles, bend the ankles back sharp like so. And again, hold them there. Strong. Good. And again, strong. Good, great. And just with the great toe, bend the great toe up nice and sharp, good. Keep it there, steep, steep, strong, 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 good. And again, strong, strong, uh, strong, 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 good, great. And just relax there. We'll just tap gently on some of the tendons here. So I'll just reach under that leg, good. Let all the weight go out of it, nice and loose. Good, and again. All the weight go out of it, nice and loose. Let it loose and fall limp and relax. Great, good. Relax the leg down. Again, let the foot just relax, nice and loose. Very good. And again, nice and loose. Excellent. Just tense some of the sensation here in the legs. So I have here a sharp pin. It's sharp, but it won't break the skin. I'll just show you here in the chest, and we'll agree that that's sharp there. Mm -hmm. Good. So I'll just press around <coughs> some areas of the feet and I want to hear if it's sharp or dull. Sharp. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Good. And if it's the same on both sides. Um. Sharp. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Good. Up the leg also. So again, if it's the... Sharp. 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 Good. Sharp. Good. Sharp. Good. <laughs> Sharp. Good. Sharp. Good. And it's sharp. Good. Sharp. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I just I thought you were in pain. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> and again, we'll just test some of the sensation of the joints. So here you'll feel um, a, a buzzing on the joints. I'll show you on the chest. Just the tuning fork. I'll touch to the chest. Can you feel that buzzing there? Mm -hmm. And you can feel it stop like so. Yeah. Okay. So um, with your eyes closed, I'll just touch it to the toe. Can you feel that buzzing there? Mm -hmm. And tell me when it stops. No. Good. And on the other foot as well. So can you feel that buzzing there? Mm -hmm. And tell me when it stops. No. Good. Great. <laughs> now we'll just test some of the movements of the joints. So if I held the, uh, the uh, eyes open there for me, just looking down, if you can see my movements here, we'll say that this is, is up for the toe and this is down for the toe. Can you feel me moving that there? Mm -hmm. Good. So with your eyes closed, I'll ask you to say whether this, move, whether this is up or down. Sorry, so this movement up. and this movement. Down. Smaller now, gentler. And this movement up. and this movement. Down. Good. And the other toe, again, so eyes closed. Same system, if this mo this movement, down, and this, up, and this, down, and this, down. Good, great. You can relax there and open your eyes. And we'll just test some of the coordination in your limbs now. Uh, so first of all, with the right heel, if you could lift the leg off the bed, touch to your left knee, and trace it straight down the shin, nice and straight, up in the air, again to the left, and straight down the shin. Good, one more time for me, nice and slowly. Good, great, and relax that leg down, fantastic. Again, with the left heel up high, touch to the right knee, straight down the leg, good. 
Once more again, nice and slowly. Very good. And relax that leg down. Excellent. With one foot at a time, I want you to tap on my hands with the right foot. Tap, tap, tap. Good. And relax. And again with the left foot. Tap. Good. And relax. Excellent. Just some pointing now. So perhaps with the right toe, if you can touch my finger just here. Good. And down. And again my finger there. And down. Good. Great. Now with the left foot, again, touch to the finger. Down. And again to the finger. Good. And down. And relax. That's excellent. Uh, I would continue to uh, complete my examination of um, Mr. O'Neill's nervous system by examining his upper limbs and brainstem and cranial nerves and for any evidence of systemic disease, so evidence of any hypertension, um, retinop retinopathy changes, a urinalysis for glucose and other stigma. Uh, I'm just going to press over your ankle. Thank you. And now we're going to check some of your reflexes, if that's quite all right. So with your sitting there, I'm just going to tap your arms. Okay, so if you go nice and, nice and loose for me. Okay. And go nice and loose on this side, lovely. Okay, if I could get you to swing your legs around for me. So next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to test your reflex. That's all right. So one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. And one, two, three. Okay, that's lovely. Get you to kneel on the bed like so. We're just going to test your ankle reflexes now, so stay nice and relaxed for me. Do you mind if I examine your feet today? No, that's fine. Good. You don't have any pain in your feet at the moment, do you? No. Good. Can I get you to stand up for me? Okay, I'm just going to have a look at your feet. Can I get you to just take a step forwards? Okay, and if I get you to just lie on the bed now for me. Just have a look at your foot footwear. I'm just going to have a closer look at your feet. Okay. Can I feel any pulse on the inside? Okay, so I'm just going to test for your sensation in your feet now. So I'm just going to use this. It looks quite sharp, but it's actually very gentle. You just feel it there. Okay, we get you to close your eyes. I want you to say yes when you can feel that um, poking in your feet. Can you feel that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, brilliant. I'm just going to do the other side now, so keep closing your eyes. Yes. 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 Okay. No worries. Just lift this up a little bit higher. Thank you. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check the sensation with this cotton wool. Is it okay if I just have a little feel of your chest just yeah. to show you? So it should feel like this. Yeah. I'm going to start on your leg. So if you close your eyes and tell me when you can feel me touching you with the cotton wool, please. Can you feel that? I can feel that. Yeah. Right. Can you feel that? I can feel that, yeah. Yeah? Can you feel that? No. There? 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 No. Okay. I'm 
just going to move the cotton wool from the bottom of your leg to the top. Tell me when it starts feeling back to yeah. normal, okay? So, is it starting to feel normal yet? No. Is it starting it's to feel? starting to feel yeah. that. Starting to feel normal now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just do the same on the other leg. Is it still? No. Is it starting to? Starting to feel that. Yeah, I can feel that. Perfect. Thank you. The next thing I'm going to do is just to test the sensation with this pin. It's got two sides, a sharp side and a blunt side. If I just mm -hmm. demonstrate what it feels like. So this is the sharp side, yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the blunt side, okay? okay? So if I get you to close your eyes and tell me when it feels sharp and when it feels blunt, okay. What does that feel like? I can feel that. Is it sharp or blunt? Uh, that's sharp. Yeah. And that? Yeah. And that? Sharp or blunt? Mm. Blunt. Okay. That sharp or blunt? Yeah, I can feel that. Sharp or blunt, do you think? Sharp. Sharp. What's this feel? Sharp or blunt? No, that's blunt. Sharp or blunt? Blunt. Okay, you can open your eyes again. What I'm going to do next is just check the position of your toes when your eyes are closed. So what I'll simply do is take your big toe and move it down or up. If you close your eyes for me and if you tell me whether it's going down or up, okay? Which way mm -hmm. is it going now? Down or up? Down. And now? Up. Good. And if I do the same on the other side, so if this is down and this is up, this is down, this is up. Good. Okay. I'm just going to test the vibration sense in your legs. Mm -hmm. So if I come up there again and sh show you what it feels like. So you should feel a little vibration like that on the way I place you. Okay. So if you close your eyes and tell me if you can feel a vibration or just a cold sensation. Vibration? Cold. It's cold, okay. So does that feel like? Cold. Okay. What does that feel like? Cold. Mm -hmm. Cold. What does that feel like? Cold. Okay. I'm just going to move up a bit higher. Yeah, I can feel that. Cold. Cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a vibration. Vibration, yeah. What about this side? Yeah, feel the vibration. Okay. Perfect. How many fingers? Four. Good. How many now? Two. Good. Just keep looking at me for a minute. You're going to shine my light in your eyes. Great. Stay with me. Good. Now watch the light. And just follow it as it moves. Up and down and up. Very good. Look at me again. Show me a big smile. Good. Stick your tongue out. Very good. Shrug your shoulders up. Great. Good. Now I'm going to whisper a number in your ear. You just tell me the number. Six. Very good. Four. Very good. Arms out in front, palms to the ceiling. Close your eyes, please. Good. You can open your eyes. Give me a hard squeeze. Really good. All right. Great. Arms up. Don't let me pull you down. Be strong. Good. Strong on this side. Good. Now push me away. Good. Push me away. Very good. Nice and relaxed for a minute. Real loose. Great. Real loose. Good. Take this hand and tap very fast. Good. The other one. Very fast. Good. Take that finger and touch your nose, and then touch my finger. Go back and forth and back and forth. Good. With the other hand, do the same. Very good. Excellent. All right. Now, hold on to the stretcher. Hike your knee up to my hand. Keep it up. Strong. Good. Bring this one up. Be strong. Good. All right. Okay, push me away. Great. Push me away. Very good. Bring your foot up. Cock your toes up toward your head. Don't let me push you down. Be strong. Very good. On the other side. Strong. Hold them up. Very good. All right. Now, so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to hold your foot up. I want you to put your heel on your knee and then make a straight line down your shin. Very good. Excellent. Do the same thing with the other. Great. Now, I have to scratch the bottom okay. of your foot. It's annoying. Sorry. 
That is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. Okay, very good. Now, I just want to see how uh, you feel things. All right, okay. so I have a piece of cotton here. And I'm going to take that piece of cotton. And just tell me, are they about the same? Roughly yes, the same? The good. Same. About here and here, roughly the same. Same. Here, here, and here, roughly the same. The same. Now, this will be a little bit sharp. Okay. okay. Is that sharp? Both roughly sharp. the same? Yes. Good. Here? The roughly same. the same. Here? Roughly the, the same. same. Very good. I have a tuning fork. Okay. Makes vibration. Buzz. And buzz. About mm -hmm. the same. Same. Good. And here? And here. Roughly the same? The same. Good. I'm going to touch your right hand, your left hand, or both. You just tell me what. Okay. Eyes closed. What I touch. Both. Good. Very good. You can open your eyes. I'm going to just tap you here. I want you to be nice and relaxed. Okay. okay. Good. Nice and relaxed. That's great. Just like you're doing. Perfect. Nice and relaxed. Good. All right. Very good. Can you come on down on the uh -huh. floor? And just stand. All right. Now bring your heels together like a soldier at attention. Eyes closed. Don't let me push you over. Very good. You can open your eyes. Can you just walk over about five feet? Good. And come on back. Good. A couple times fast as if you're trying to catch a bus. Back and forth. Back and forth. <laughs> good. Stop. All right. Stop. Walk backwards. Stop. Come forward. One foot right in front of the other. Heel touching top. Great. Have a seat back up here. I need to ask you a few questions just to check on your thinking, and then we're all done. Okay. So what day is it today? Today is Monday. Great. And how about the date? It is June 7th. Very Eighth. good. <laughs> <laughs> what year? 2015. Uh, good. I'll spot you a day. That's all right. Who's our president? Obama. And what's going on in the news? Any topic you want. What's going on in the news? Um, the basketball playoffs are going on. Okay. Very good. Um, um, can you put your right pointing finger on your left ear? Mm -hmm. Do that for me. Good. You can bring it down. Uh, how much is 20 multiplied by 30? I'm saying 20 times 30. 600. Very good. There's an old saying that goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. What is the point of that? Um, don't put everything. You might lose the chance to do okay. something different. Very good. What are these things? They're glasses. Mm -hmm. What part of the glasses do I actually look through? The lenses. Very good. Say after me. No ifs, ands, or buts. No ifs, ands, or buts. Okay. Apple, pear, and peach. What are they? Fruits. Bed, table, and chair. Furniture. Right. Excellent. Good. Today, I'd just Thanks. like to examine you, if that's all right. That's absolutely fine. I'll be looking at your hands and arms, so if you can roll your shirt sleeves up above your elbows okay. for me, and take your watch off, and you can leave your rings on. Okay. Why don't you just rest your hands down on the table. If at any point during the examination you feel any pain or discomfort, then let me know. Okay. Okay. Just going to have a look at your hands first of all. And then if you can turn them over for me. And then I just look at your arms and elbow. That's great. And on the other side. Everything looks normal. So I just want to feel your hands now. I'm going to feel for your pulses, check the sensation in your hands, and then we'll go through the joints. Okay? That's absolutely fine. I'll just feel. Your hands down again. I'm going to feel along both sides of your hand. I want you to tell me whether it feels normal and the same on both sides. Okay. That's the same. Same again. Okay. And turn your hands over for me. Just feel in this little area here. Same. Okay. Fine. Yes. I'm just going to feel the joints now, all right? Okay. Just tell me if there's any pain. And this hand. I'm just going to squeeze your wrist. Is that okay? That's fine. And here? That's fine as well. All right. That's okay. Okay. Let's have a look at the movements now, okay? I'm just going to hold your wrist. 
and if you can move your hand up and down for me, like so. Okay, and then if you relax it, and I'll move the hand for you. Is that okay? That's fine. And then the same on this side, if you can move your hand up and down for me. And then relax, and I'll move the hand up and down for you. Okay, that's all right. just want to test your power now. So if you can just make a fist around my finger and squeeze. That's lovely. And then rest your hands down and bring your thumb to touch your finger. Now I'm going to try and pull them apart. I want you to keep them together. Okay. That's great. So there's two more special tests that I'd like to do just to confirm what I think may be wrong. Okay. The first one I want you just to bring the backs of your hands together and point them towards the floor. And just tell me whether you get any pins and needles or tingling. And we'll keep it there for a few seconds. Anything? Yes, tingling sensation. Similar to the symptoms that you've been having? Yes, it is. All right, then. If you can rest your hands back down for me. Just one more thing I want to do. I'm just going to bend your wrist back slightly and tap here, okay? Tell me if you okay. get any pins and needles or tingling. Tingling sensation again. Okay. And the same on the other hand. Yeah, the same. So from what you've told me and examining you today, I think that you may have what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. This is where the nerve that comes into your hand through your wrist gets a bit compressed and causes the symptoms which you've been having. So I'd just like to discuss with you now the treatment options and how we'll go forwards. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. In order for me to decide what I think may be wrong with you today, I'd just like to examine you if that's all right. That's absolutely fine. I'll be looking at your hands and arms, so if you can roll your shirt sleeves up above your elbows okay. for me and take your watch off, and you can leave your rings on. Okay. I want you just rest your hands down on the table. If at any point during the examination you feel any pain or discomfort, then let me know. Okay. Okay. Just going to have a look at your hands first of all. And then if you can turn them over for me. And then I just look at your arms and elbow. That's great. And on the other side. Everything looks normal. So I just want to feel your hands now. I'm going to feel for your pulses, check the sensation in your hands, and then we'll go through the joints. Okay? That's absolutely fine. I'll just feel. Your hands down again. I'm going to feel along both sides of your hand. I want you to tell me whether it feels normal and the same on both sides. Okay. That's the same. Same again. Okay. And turn your hands over for me. Just feel in this little area here. Same. Okay. Fine. Yes. I'm just going to feel the joints now, all right? Okay. Just tell me if there's any pain. And this hand. I'm just going to squeeze your wrist. Is that okay? That's fine. And here? That's fine as well. All right. That's okay. Okay. Let's have a look at the movements now, okay? I'm just going to hold your wrist, and if you can move your hand up and down for me, like so. Okay, and then if you relax it, and I'll move the hand for you. Is that okay? That's fine. And then the same on this side, if you can move your hand up and down for me. And then relax, and I'll move the hand up and down for you. Okay, that's all right. just want to test your power now. So if you can just make a fist around my finger and squeeze. That's lovely. And then rest your hands down and bring your thumb to touch your finger. Now I'm going to try and pull them apart. I want you to keep them together. That's great. 
So there's two more special tests that I'd like to do, just to confirm what I think may be wrong, OK? The first one, I want you just to bring the backs of your hands together and point them towards the floor. And just tell me whether you get any pins and needles or tingling. And we'll keep it there for a few seconds. Anything? Yes, tingling sensation. Similar to the symptoms that you've been having? Yes, it is. All right, then. If you can rest your hands back down for me. Just one more thing I want to do. I'm just going to bend your wrist back slightly and tap here, OK? Tell me if you okay. get any pins and needles or tingling. Tingling sensation again. OK. And the same on the other hand. Yeah, the same. So from what you've told me and examining you today, I think that you may have what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. This is where the nerve that comes into your hand through your wrist gets a bit compressed and causes the symptoms which you've been having. So I'd just like to discuss with you now the treatment options and how we'll go forwards. OK. Thank you. Thank you. In order for me to decide what I think may be wrong with you today, I'd just like to examine you, if that's all right. That's absolutely fine. I'll be looking at your hands and arms, so if you can roll your shirt sleeves up above your elbows okay. for me, and take your watch off, and you can leave your rings on. OK. Why don't you just rest your hands down on the table. If at any point during the examination you feel any pain or discomfort, then let me know. OK. OK. Just going to have a look at your hands first of all. And then if you can turn them over for me. And then I just look at your arms and elbow. That's great. And on the other side. Everything looks normal. So I just want to feel your hands now. I'm going to feel for your pulses, check the sensation in your hands, and then we'll go through the joints. OK? That's absolutely fine. I'll just feel. Your hands down again. I'm going to feel along both sides of your hand. I want you to tell me whether it feels normal and the same on both sides. OK. That's the same. Same again. Okay. And turn your hands over for me. Just feel in this little area here. Same. Okay. Fine. Yes. I'm just going to feel the joints now, all right? Okay. Just tell me if there's any pain. And this hand. I'm just going to squeeze your wrist. Is that OK? That's fine. And here? That's fine as well. All right. That's OK. OK. Let's have a look at the movements now, OK? I'm just going to hold your wrist. And if you can move your hand up and down for me, like so. OK. And then if you relax it, and I'll move the hand for you. Is that OK? That's fine. And then the same on this side, if you can move your hand up and down for me. And then relax, and I'll move the hand up and down for you. OK, that's all right. just want to test your power now. So if you can just make a fist around my finger and squeeze. That's lovely. And then rest your hands down and bring your thumb to touch your finger. Now I'm going to try and pull them apart. I want you to keep them together. great. So there's two more special tests that I'd like to do, just to confirm what I think may be wrong, OK? The first one, I want you just to bring the backs of your hands together and point them towards the floor. And just tell me whether you get any pins and needles or tingling. And we'll keep it there for a few seconds. Anything? Yes, tingling sensation. Similar to the symptoms that you've been having. Yes, it is. All right, then. If you can rest your hands back down for me. Just one more thing I want to do. I'm just going to bend your wrist back slightly and tap here, OK? Tell me if you okay. get any pins and needles or tingling. Tingling sensation again. OK. And the same on the other hand.
Yeah, the same. So from what you've told me and examining you today, I think that you may have what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. This is where the nerve that comes into your hand through your wrist gets a bit compressed and causes the symptoms which you've been having. So I'd just like to discuss with you now the treatment options and how we'll go forwards. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. In order for me to decide what I think may be wrong with you today, I'd just like to examine you if that's all right. That's absolutely fine. I'll be looking at your hands and arms, so if you can roll your shirt sleeves up above your elbows okay. for me and take your watch off, and you can leave your rings on. Okay. I'd like if you just rest your hands down on the table. If at any point during the examination you feel any pain or discomfort, then let me know. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to have a look at your hands first of all. And then if you can turn them over for me. And then I just look at your arms and elbow. That's great. And on the other side. Everything looks normal. So I just want to feel your hands now. I'm going to feel for your pulses, check the sensation in your hands, and then we'll go through the joints. Okay? That's absolutely fine. I'll just feel. Your hands down again. I'm going to feel along both sides of your hand. I want you to tell me whether it feels normal and the same on both sides. Okay. That's the same. Same again. Okay. And turn your hands over for me. Just feel in this little area here. Same. Okay. Fine. Yes. I'm just going to feel the joints now, alright? Okay. Just tell me if there's any pain. And this hand. I'm just going to squeeze your wrist. Is that okay? That's fine. And here? That's fine as well. All right. That's okay. Okay. Let's have a look at the movements now, okay? I'm just going to hold your wrist, and if you can move your hand up and down for me, like so. Okay, and then if you relax it, and I'll move the hand for you. Is that okay? That's fine. And then the same on this side, if you can move your hand up and down for me. And then relax, and I'll move the hand up and down for you. Okay, that's alright. just want to test your power now. So if you can just make a fist around my finger and squeeze. That's lovely. And then rest your hands down and bring your thumb to touch your finger. Now I'm going to try and pull them apart. I want you to keep them together. great. So there's two more special tests that I'd like to do just to confirm what I think may be wrong, okay? The first one I want you just to bring the backs of your hands together and point them towards the floor and just tell me whether you get any pins and needles or tingling and we'll keep it there for a few seconds. Anything? Yes, tingling sensation. Similar to the symptoms that you've been having? Yes, it is. All right, then. If you can rest your hands back down for me. Just one more thing I want to do. I'm just going to bend your wrist back slightly and tap here, okay? Tell me if you okay. get any pins and needles or tingling. Tingling sensation again. Okay. And the same on the other hand. Yeah, the same. So from what you've told me and examining you today, I think that you may have what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. This is where the nerve that comes into your hand through your wrist gets a bit compressed and causes the symptoms which you've been having. So I'd just like to discuss with you now the treatment options and how we'll go forwards. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. In order for me to decide what I think may be wrong with you today, I'd just like to examine you if that's all right. That's absolutely fine. I'll be looking at your hands and arms, so if you can roll your shirt sleeves up above your elbows okay. for me, and take your watch off, and you can leave your rings on. Okay. I'd 
I wonder if you just rest your hands down on the table. If at any point during the examination you feel any pain or discomfort, then let me know. Okay. Okay. Just going to have a look at your hands first of all. And then if you can turn them over for me. And then I just look at your arms and elbow. That's great. And on the other side. Everything looks normal. So I just want to feel your hands now. I'm going to feel for your pulses, check the sensation in your hands, and then we'll go through the joints. Okay? That's absolutely fine. Just feel. Your hands down again. I'm going to feel along both sides of your hand. I want you to tell me whether it feels normal and the same on both sides. Okay. That's the same. Same again. Okay. And turn your hands over for me. Just feel in this little area here. Same. Okay. Fine. Yes. I'm just going to feel the joints now, all right? Okay. Just tell me if there's any pain. And this hand. I'm just going to squeeze your wrist. Is that okay? That's fine. And here? That's fine as well. All right. That's okay. Okay. Let's have a look at the movements now, okay? I'm just going to hold your wrist. And if you can move your hand up and down for me, like so. Okay. And then if you relax it, and I'll move the hand for you. Is that okay? That's fine. And then the same on this side, if you can move your hand up and down for me. And then relax, and I'll move the hand up and down for you. Okay, that's all right. just want to test your power now. So if you can just make a fist around my finger and squeeze. That's lovely. And then rest your hands down and bring your thumb to touch your finger. Now I'm going to try and pull them apart. I want you to keep them together. great. So there's two more special tests that I'd like to do just to confirm what I think may be wrong, okay? The first one I want you just to bring the backs of your hands together and point them towards the floor and just tell me whether you get any pins and needles or tingling and we'll keep it there for a few seconds. Anything? Yes, tingling sensation. Similar to the symptoms that you've been having? Yes, it is. All right, then. If you can rest your hands back down for me. Just one more thing I want to do. I'm just going to bend your wrist back slightly and tap here, okay? Tell me if you get any pins and needles or tingling. Tingling sensation again. Okay. And the same on the other hand. Yeah, the same. So from what you've told me and examining you today, I think that you may have what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. This is where the nerve that comes into your hand through your wrist gets a bit compressed and causes the symptoms which you've been having. So I'd just like to discuss with you now the treatment options and how we'll go forwards. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And up and down. Up. And down. Now look right here but <clears throat> at my nose. Good. Look up. Excellent. Okay. And the left ear. Good. Examine the ears. I want you to wrinkle your forehead up. Go like this. Stick your tongue out at me. Good. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. How about over here? Hear that? Any difference between the two sides? Yeah. All right. Open your mouth wide. Lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Good. Relax your tongue. Say, ah. Excellent. Thank you.
Good. Look right in that direction. Look up just a little. Good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. <clears throat> now I'm going to palpate the skull and the posterior aspect of the neck, occipital lymph nodes. And I'm going to move to the back and palpate the anterior neck. Submental nodes, submandibular nodes, and submandibular gland. Anterior triangle down the front board of the sternocleidomastoid, right down to the insertion of the sternocleidomastoid. Posterior triangle, posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, preauricular, postauricular, supraclavicular fossa, and the pretrapezius nodes. <clears throat> thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage, trachea in the midline. I can feel his thyroid easily right now, but we'll have him swallow. Good, and roll the thyroid up under, under my hands. And you're palpating right underneath the occiput, and then forward, and then down the back of the neck, rolling the tissue underneath your fingers. Okay, and then down the front of the sternocleidomastoid, retract the muscle a little bit so you be sure you're feeling under the anterior border, and then right down to the insertion of the sternocleidomastoid, and pay particular attention in this area. The famous node called Virchow's node may be palpated right here under the head of the left sternocleidomastoid and indicate uh, carcinoma or problems coming up from the abdomen. <clears throat> then we come down the posterior aspect of the sternocleidomastoid and the posterior triangle along the anterior border of the trapezius bilaterally. And when you... And lastly, the supraclavicular fossa on both sides, extending out laterally from the heads of the sternocleidomastoid. Good. All right. Exposing the scalp. Put your chin down to your chest, chin all the way up, good. Chin towards me, chin to the other direction, ear to the shoulder, ear to the shoulder. Excellent. Now I'm going to expose the back. Okay, examination, and we see some, a lot of moles, a keloid here. Spine is nice and straight. I'm going to percuss with my fist down the spine. Any tenderness there? Looking for CVA tenderness, any there? Nope. Good, now we'll percuss. And auscultate the back. So I want you to breathe medium breaths in and out through your mouth. Big breath, and again. Arm to the side, big breath. Good, arm out again, up in the axilla, big breath. Good. <clears throat> From there, you can palpate the dorsal spines, which should be in a nice straight line all the way down the back. See the nice uh, mild thoracic kyphosis moving into the lumbar lordosis. The costophrenic angle is marked by the junction of the 12th rib with the spine and now with the lumbar and paraspinous uh, muscles. 
The lumbosacral junction is easy to palpate at about this level. Notice that it's well below the apex of the pelvic brim, which descends posteriorly. Okay, so this forms the superficial anatomy of, of the back. Uh, lastly is the latissimus dorsi muscle, prominent muscle we see on the lateral side. Uh, this muscle forms this large lateral border of the chest. Again, remember that this overlay of muscle and bone really camouflages the shape of the bony thorax and rib cage underneath, which narrows tremendously towards the apex. In well-muscled chests like this, you may not get a very robust uh, sound. On the other hand, with a thin emphysematous chest, you'll hear a hyper-resonance. Some people uh, feel that you can actually palpate those sound waves. Most of us are not uh, talented enough to, uh, to do that. It allows me to strike a little bit harder. Lift your arm to the side, big breath. Big breath. Good. And then we're going to percuss and auscultate the front of the chest. Big breath. Out. And another breath. Good. Palpate the carotid. Right here at the level of the thyroid cartilage is the carotid bifurcation. Auscultate the carotid. Hold your breath. Good. And once again. Over the pectoralis minor muscle and then up into towards the coracoid process on both sides. Right down the border of the pectoralis and then along the border of the posterior fold of the axilla which is the latissimus dorsi. And lastly with the other hand, it's easy to palpate up in the apex and down the neurovascular bundle as it uh, descends into the arm. And they may be enlarged with problems in the hands and forearms. Okay, so we examine the entire chest, palpating areas of these lesions. Most, if not all, of these are macular. Next, we're going to examine the arm. So we want to fully expose the arm, including the axilla, and then posterior aspect of the arm. And we can notice already in this young man the demarcation of the highly sun-exposed areas from the less sun-exposed areas. 
And on the other arm, much the same thing as noted from behind, little sunburn last weekend. All right. And then palms. Bend the leg up. Sole of the foot again. And then interdigital spaces. And nails. Aside from the moles, this all uh, looks very normal. So we do that and be sure to examine uh, both hands, thumb and fingers. Okay. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Tell me if I'm breaking your finger off. <clears throat> and then we're going to examine the inguinal areas individually. To examine the inguinal ligaments, we're going to do that one side at a time, and you want to expose the area from the anterior superior iliac spine over to the symphysis pubis. The inguinal ligament runs in this direction, and the lymph node beds are inferior and oftentimes a little medial to that. So again, start well above that area, palpating with the flat of your hand and rolling the tissue along. You know you're in the right area when you can palpate the femoral artery, which I am right there. And remember the lymph nodes run along the neurovascular bundle. So you're basically following that area down into the leg. You want to extend at least 8 to 10 centimeters anteriorly. And don't forget to palpate medially as well. Right over to the symphysis pubis. Okay, and then we just repeat that on the other side. Again, exposing the area, anterior iliac spine, down to symphysis pubis, inguinal ligament runs here. Femoral artery is right here. And we will just palpate under and inferior to the inguinal ligament, rolling the tissue and again continuing down the anterior aspect of the thigh 8 to 10 centimeters and extending medially and right over here to the symphysis pubis and that completes the examination of the inguinal lymph nodes Hold your breath and hold your breath. Good. All right. Excellent. Okay. And you usually need to go up to about a plus twenty. Cuss the upper border of the liver. Percussing trab space, that's the normal gastric air bubble. If there's splenomegaly, it might move in that direction. Take a deep breath, blow it out. Big breath. 
checking for splenomegaly and there's none there. Just relax and we'll palpate the inguinal lymph nodes. Right up to the inguinal ligament on both sides. We're we'll turning to the sitting position. <clears throat> and I'll move back to the front. Good. <clears throat> and we'll look at the legs, musculature. Just relax. Good. Then we'll check reflexes and the lower extremities. So after checking the muscle stretch reflexes, we check the plantar response. Gently stroke the sole of the foot. I use a broken tongue blade just to give and very gentle. And we can see the toes flare a little bit. And here's a nice normal response. There we go. Feel that buzzing? Yes. Feel that buzzing there? Yes. Excellent. And then before we stand the patient, I'll just move back up. Relax your arm. Biceps, triceps. Relax your arm. Brachioradialis, and the same on the opposite side. Relax your arm. Brachioradialis, biceps, and triceps. Good. Hold your hands out like this. Hold them steady. And no evident tremor. The last part <coughs> is to check vestibular function. So I'll ask him to stand on the floor right in front of me. Move out slightly. Put your feet together. And shut your eyes. So he's very steady. I will now push him. See if I can knock him off balance. Lastly, retropulsion. Notice that he's standing in front of the table, so should he go backwards, he'll hit the table and not fall over. Okay, have a seat back on the exam table. <clears throat> Good. Well, thank you very much. That completes a screening physical examination from head to toe. Look at me. And come back. Tell me about your headache. Let's go. Okay. Now look at me. Thank you.
Ya bir şey Feel. Very that's weird. That's what? Weird. Weird? Yeah. But how do you feel? Perfectly. Okay. Put your awareness into your head. What's that? What's what? What's what's happening in your head? Uh, I'm looking for my headache. And I can just feel like a little tiny bit of it. Can you? Okay, look at me. Your eyes are heavy, droopy, drowsy, heavy, droopy, drowsy. Go deep inside. Now listen to the sound of my voice. Your headache is completely, totally gone. Focus where my fingers are. They're like a vacuum cleaner sucking discomfort out of your head completely. A place with a warm, pleasant, cool feeling. Now, remaining that way, and any discomfort that was in your head called a headache is simply, safely, comfortably gone. No place in there. And while we're at it, pains that have been unhelpfully in your Achilles tendons around your heels have safely will sensibly transform into a warm, pleasant, tingling feeling so that when that warm and pleasant tingling feeling may happen, it will be a sign to you to slow down your will, but that so-called pain that has been there is going to fade from your body in the same way that a dream fades from your mind soon after you awaken. That's right. Now I'd like you to come back. Head back now? No. Put your awareness on your feet. Tell me what's there. Yes, good. Okay, I want you to slowly stand up. Mm -hmm. Now, is there a difference in your ankles as you stand up? I'd have to walk tonight. Okay, just turn and walk. Turn, walk back here. One of them feels completely more normal and the other one feels almost completely normal. Okay, how did they feel before? Not so good. So both were not so good? Yeah. And one feels normal now and the one, yeah. one, one, which one doesn't feel quite normal yet? The right one. So this one here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sit down again. Look at me. again. Mm -hmm. And? I 
feel good. They feel good. Good. Thank you.